Hey guys, in today's tutorial we will create together this collage you see right here inside Affinity Designer version 2 and we are starting with a new clean document for this and of course the first thing we need to do is to import our pictures inside Affinity Designer so we can navigate to our pictures, select them and simply change the tab to Affinity Designer and drop them and they are imported and depending on the size of your document they are big or small and you can then select all of them go with the uh, move tool right here and hold down shift for keeping the proportions and make them smaller so we can work with them and put them somewhere like here for example and the next step is to choose the um, the object or the form we want to use and to create a layout for our um, for our collage. So in this case we are going with the polygon um, form. So go to this um, little um, triangle right here and after that select polygon tool, hold down shift while creating for perfect proportions and then we are going with six sides because you want it to be a hexagon and we can give it a filling so we can go to um, swatches select the filling right here and go with black and for the um, stroke we don't need one so we can make it transparent and the next step is to go to the move tool again and in my case i want to convert it to curves because i want to um, work easier with it and to also use the um, the um, corner tool right here you can also click c on your keyboard and select the corners and give it a radius of for example 10 pixels i think that makes it a little bit smoother and now we can select our um, hexagon again and we need to create our layout now so in our case we have five pictures so we want to create a layout like this so we're starting with one hexagon and um, clicking command C and command V to copy and paste or simply click command and J on your keyboard and for windows simply use control instead of command and now we can move one to the left by having snapping activated holding down shift and the arrow keys to move it um, for example 50 pixels keep in mind that this is only possible in um, 10 pixel um, pixel steps if you have selected pixels in your document you can check by clicking somewhere here clicking on document setup and there you see your dimensions and if it is pixels or document units it's pixels you can go with the pixel steps otherwise it's um, something like 8.2 or so if you're using points or and something else we can now click OK and the same for our um, second copied um, hexagon to the right side so go to here and hold on shift and the right arrow key to go with 50 um, pixels the next step we have to do is we have to create an um, rectangle right here that helps us finding the middle between those hexagons so like this for example and now we can click on one curve again click command G to um, duplicate and now move it with the move tool to the middle right here and now we need to try to um, have the same um, um, the same space in the, uh, between those hexagons so something like this and you can adjust this um, anytime you want if you're satisfied simply um, duplicate this one as well with command J or control J on Windows PCs and now we can by having snapping activated find the exact um, same distance and also the middle with our helping rectangle and the next step is deleting those rectangles by clicking on them and clicking delete or the um, um, return key on your keyboard what we can do next is we can select the hexagon we want it the picture to be and then insert the picture but depending on your angle you want it to display your collage it might be useful first to um, um, to um, turn your collage so we will select all of the hexagons hold down shift for perfect um, for 15 degree um, steps and go with for example 30 or maybe only 25 you can also use the transform right here 
to um, insert the number minus for the one direction and plus for the other direction and then move something like this and now the next step is to select the picture so for example this picture and if we want it to be in that curve we select the curve we click on this picture we hold down and move it above the curve and drop it right here and now we created a mask we can now move our image to this hexagon make it bigger and adjust what we want to see through um, the hexagon. So we're only seeing the part of the picture underneath this hexagon. So in case, um, in this case, this part right here. And we have to do the same for every other picture. You can um, choose the pictures, the forms, and um, what you want to display on your own, depending on your needs. So the next step will be this picture, and we want it to have it in um, this hexagon right here so we're clicking on this picture and dropping it here and moving this picture underneath the hexagon and adjusting so we have it as we want it to be so for example like this and also with the next picture selecting the picture and going with this curve for example this hexagon dropping here making bigger like this for example and that looks good and now we need to um, put in the last two pictures so this one for example for this curve so drop it right here move it underneath the hexagon and adjust it so maybe like this a little bit bigger and to the top so that looks good and also with the last picture to the top curve top left curve going here and adjusting and maybe a little bit to the left so like this and if you're finished we have to keep in mind that um, depending on our size if we have some objects above our document so um, like here where it's not inside the document space if we now export this picture we will lose this um, this little um, form right here so we only keep what is visible inside document so we have to keep this in mind so maybe ret uh, rotate the um, the curves a little bit more or resize it to fit the screen depending on your needs and the next step is selecting the first curve holding down shift and the last curve and going to the filling and now remove the filling by clicking on this little icon right here to make it transparent so we don't have those little black lines outside um, visible which doesn't look that good and the next step is to select the first curve shift again and the last one and click command G to group or control G on Windows and now if you wanted to make it look even better we have two possibilities the first one is to make it look more harmonic by giving it a color overlay which fits all of the images you can choose to make it darker for example five percent or brighter with going white so three times f for white and then five percent for example or you could also choose a color inside from the pictures by going right here and using the color tool and then going right with this color and um, that's up to you and that way it makes it look more harmonic the pictures because now the colors fit more together and we're going with white in this case and five percent and we can also give it a little outer shadow to make it pop out of the background so to make it look a little bit more 3d and um, um, giving it a little bit of a focus of our um, creation of our image of our screen and that way we can go with outer shadow we can go with black and 50 percent and now depending on your needs i like to go with 50 radius 50 offset pixel and angle 315 degree and yeah now we are finished with this collage and that's going to do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye